Hello. Today, <clears throat> today you're going to learn something that I've wanted to do and finally figured out. I just got Microsoft Office 2008 for Mac, and I'm taking chemistry this year. So there's a lot of equations and a lot of stuff I have to write. And with doing these equations, um, you need an equation editor. And I was always, and I um, got used to using the one on XP, and it has equation editor, like all I have to do is click a couple buttons, and it's easy. And I looked up online how to do it on this, and I couldn't find it until I looked up one website. I forgot where I found it, but I'm going to teach you guys how to use it in a really simple way. So um, this is for equation editor. How to use equation editor on Mac Microsoft Office 2008 for Mac. First of all, you're going to open up any new window for Word. And you're going to go, you're going to, go to insert, object, right over here. The first one, this is Microsoft equation. Click OK. And this is the equation editor. Over here, it's going to be the, wherever the equation is going to end up. This is where the equation is. So, for example, you're going to type in. So, you can do like stuff like this. This is like a fraction. So, it will be like this. And then you can type in, for example, grams. And then you can go down. This, is, this will be like a little. Um, conversion for multiplication, and then you can do fraction sign again. And then this is a grams, and then go right equals. Now you just click, can you just close the window, and it goes right over here. You can't edit it in, you cannot edit it inside the document, but if you double click it, it'll just go back to the editor, which is easier to edit it because it's bigger. And all these things are over here, so it's a lot better than the other one, I think. And it's really clean and nice, and you can just do whatever you want. See what I did, is instead of going all the way to insert an object, and then clicking OK. But what I did is I I made a shortcut for object, which is Shift, Command, and O. See it right here? And teach you guys how to do that too. So to do that, go to System Preferences, go to Keyboard and Mouse, go to Keyboard Shortcuts on the right side, Scroll all the way to the bottom. Click cross over here. Go to application. And don't wait. You're not you're not going to find Microsoft Word unless you go to the bottom. Hit other. And you're going to look for the folder Microsoft Office 2008. Enter here. Click on Microsoft Word. OK. And you can click for menu title. This is what the object is. This is object dot dot dot. So you want to go ahead and type in object dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. And then over here, keyboard shortcut. Hit shift, command, O. And then go ahead and click add. All right, don't push cancel, push add. And then it'll end up right over here by object. And, there's, and now whenever you push command, shift, O, like I just did, It'll automatically go to that, and then all you have to do now is push enter. So you push command shift O, enter, and straight to equation editor. So it's really fast, so like watch. See how fast that was? Because I'm pushing command shift O and then enter. It's a really good shortcut. You can also do other shortcuts, for example, like word count, if you have to like make big essays. You can just go over here. It's already on Microsoft Word. Word. You can do shift command W. I hope this works. 
It is both on. Tools, word count. Yeah. So if you go ahead and click it once, do it again, and it works. So I'm just pushing shift command W. And that's another thing for word count. You can do that. It's pretty cool. Um, you can also do save as. And um, one thing save as will not work unless, um, like, see this bottom part? I, the reason why I put this here, I don't really need it, but the reason why I put it here is because whenever I push save as, like, I'm going to make it right now. I'll go like this. Save as. Command shift S. Add. First, go to save as, click it at least one time, and after you click it once, it'll do it from the rest of that. That's how you do it. So, um, yeah, what I was saying about this is make sure you have the, is it formatting? Let's see. Yes, the formatting. Oh, wait. Yeah, make sure you have formatting palette. Not palette, the formatting toolbar over here or else save as won't work. Because they both have the same command. You can always change the command. You can find, you can do like anything. You can put space if you want for a command. You can do one of the num, not one of the num keys. Anything as long as it's a different command. This will work too. I just like it because it's all the same. And these are how you do commands and how to do equation editor for Mac um, Office 2008. So remember, Command Shift O, Enter, Equation Editor. That's how you do it. And have fun doing equations on <laughs> Office 2008. Bye.